Olive Pride brings a touch of pride and the natural beauty of olive oil to your table. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Clover Mama Africa is all about Ukwaka Isizwe, building and nurturing, uh, building and nurturing our nation. So the Clover Mama Africa initiative is about identifying women who are making a difference in their communities and providing them with income, generating skills to become self-sustainable. So joining us in our kitchen today is Professor Elaine Flock, Mama Daphne Oliphant, and Mama Celestine Moses to cook up a story of note of delicious amaguinia and to chat about this amazing project and its recent birthday so if you would like to try this delicious recipe simply sms the keyword clover to double three six five zero welcome to the loft ladies good afternoon thank you you all look very very armed and geared and ready to, <laughs> ready to take over so tell me about this amazing initiative okay. and why it was started uh, well we really wanted to do something good in our communities we wanted to thank those wonderful people out there who's buying our beautiful products over many yeah. years so uh, we started with four women initially now we have appointed 45 women I think the wonderful thing is that we've empowered those women with skills sure. training and constant equipment uh, so they are really doing very well in their community so they will bake up a storm they yeah. will have catering services they do welding they do um, uh, hairdressing salons, oh, so a mosaic, uh, quilt work, uh, so there's a variety of things that they are doing and with that they create an income and they make it better for the people uh, that's living with them. We have a woman, we have 177 people uh, in their care, so you can think if it's one woman who can do it, that old saying of strike a woman and you strike a rock, I think mm -hmm. that is wonderful. One of my late Clover Mama Africa's, Mama Lina Maluleke, used to say women's hands are like gold and I think that is what my mamas prove. They can do absolutely everything Thing. They can multitask and they love what they are doing and in so doing they make a difference in the lives of the poorest of the poor. What an incredible idea. Yeah. And have you ladies noticed a difference in your communities? Absolutely. <clears throat> Not only uh, are you training a lot of learning skills but you're only making only also making a difference in the life of the people working with you yeah. creating an income changing their lives changing your community so really it is exactly yes. why do you think it's important to get involved actively in their communities and upskill exactly what Chloe is doing to upskill and and allow and give people the tools I suppose to make their lives better well I think if you find the women they it's about just having a, a learning a new skill yeah. um, they are shy they are they no confidence but the moment when you start learning any, and teaching the women it's amazing how they blossom oh. and and the one thing I've learned is they need that just they pack that uh, pat on the back to know wow I can do it and then it changes their lives and yeah. the wonderful thing of our project is they go back and they what they've been taught they go back and they can uh, teach other people and so they uplift the whole community yeah. if you find these women they are all working <clears throat> along with other people they call it uh, caregivers helping them uh, and those people People are all being fed, they receive a salary through the project. Clover, uh, it, we are not paying them, but through the project and the mamas yeah. and the skills that they have received, they can pay these people. So uh, the whole community uh, is absolutely uplifted. It's not Amazing. only that, that wonderful Mama Africa that's doing it, but it's selfless work, it's hard work. I think these mamas can vouch for it, the way that they are looking after people, um, what, they are, what they stand for in the communities, because they are yeah. pillars. Of they course. are pillars of strength. Uh, it's amazing the work that I do. Well, you've inspired me so much. Now, I love eating amaguinha, but I don't know how to make it. Okay. <laughs> Clem has tried to teach me about <laughs> a thousand times, but it hasn't quite sunk. Okay. So let's upskill Jeannie. Good. How do we start making today's okay. I'm going to talk. Um, okay, Mama Celestine, will, she has put in a cake flour. Okay. Uh, now she's just added a drop of uh, a bit of uh, salt, some sugar in there, yeah. uh, some yeast, and that is quick yeast, and then uh, a, a bit of butter. Yeah. And once that is done, we will add some lukewarm water and then she will Why mix is it, it important for it to be lukewarm? Uh, okay, lukewarm water is always one third boiled water and two thirds cold water. Okay. So that is the 100% success to make sure that that is absolutely lukewarm water. And if you uh, have uh, use hot water, it will burn the yeast and then you won't have a, a fed cook that will rise or your dough won't rise. So that is very and important. And cold water equally won't, right. won't let it bind as easily. That won't, yeah, because it's the lukewarm that just make the yeast to make it active. Okay, so and then I see what you're doing. You're adding it slowly, slowly, slowly. That's right. 
Okay. So normally good. So Celestine will now uh, knead the dough. Very important. Yeah. You need a good fat cook for about 20 minutes if it's by oh, hand. Boy. When we have the luxury of a mixer, then you can go for 7 to 10 minutes or 12 okay. minutes. But this now, will she will do it, say, for 20 minutes. So okay. to uh, hasten the process, we have we have finished already yeah. or prepared. Don't a worry bit. about that, That's my doll. right. So <laughs> wonderful. Good. Now we are going to The serve. magic of TV. Okay. Now it has risen. <laughs> you can see lovely. And now she's going to make you some fat cook. Uh, uh, and roll the little it into beautiful rolls. Yeah, and you can see it's nice and round. So yeah, you can have different shapes, but that is the way that we love it. And you can already see how it's been risen. So it's lovely the dough that we have done and prepared. Yeah. Good. And then I think it's over now to Mama Daphne who will uh, bake the fat cook. So now you can see how it has risen. So these small mm -hmm. uh, rolls are now that size. And then the oil must be the right temperature. When you have an uh, 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 electric one, normally the temperature is at 180. So, and Daphne will bake it now. And very important, you never turn a fat cook over before it's done on the one side. Oh, okay. So once it's been baked on the, uh, in the oil on the one side, then Daphne will turn it over and do the other side, and then it's done. Also very important, you never, a good fat cook is never a dark fat cook. It's absolutely okay. light, beautiful. You want to put your teeth in it and duck in and eat it, I bite know. it. So, uh, okay. So, Daphne, um, what I want to tell you about fake cook. You know, we used to make fake cook Fridays, me and my children, and I yeah. think they are watching this program yeah. today. And we used to sell it. I have a lot of children on the university and colleges that I've yelled with selling this fake cook on a Friday night. They would walk with buckets. Can out I tell in the you, my university days were all about eating yeah. fake cook. Bonnie and I saw it just now and we thought, oi, there's our weakness in life. We cannot wait to get into it. Thank you so much for being here Hello. today and Thank teaching you. us and telling us about your amazing Thank you. initiative. Thank you, ladies, for being Thank here. You so, much. so it's really women like these who make our country a better place and a place which provides hope, I suppose, for a better future for those who have lost all hope. If you feel inspired by our Clover Mama, Africa's, then get involved. Go to clovermamaafrica.com to see how you can make a contribution. Made with love by Clover.